Hello, this is Pastor Tyson Bibb from Holy Cross Lutheran Church with your chapel message for this day. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As I understand, boys and girls, the text from the scripture that you've been studying this month is Proverbs 10.6, which says, Blessings crown the head of the righteous. Well, it kind of makes you wonder, what is a blessing? We use that word a lot, but I think we sometimes, well, don't always know exactly what that word means. Well, a blessing, according to the Bible, is a good word or a gift, specifically a good word or a gift given to us by God. And you know, the Lord has given us many blessings, that is many good gifts, many good words. And some of those things, well, we actually learn about them as we confess the Apostles' Creed. When we look at the meaning to the Apostles' Creed, specifically that first article which says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Well, this is what we confess. We believe that God has made us and all creatures. He's given us our body and soul, our eyes, our ears, and all our members, our reason and all our senses, and he still takes care of them. He also gives us clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, wife and children, land, animals, and all I have. He richly and daily provides me with all I need to support this body and life. You see, God gives us lots of good gifts, and it's not because we're so great. We're sinners. We don't deserve God's blessings or his love, but it's out of fatherly divine goodness and mercy that, the God, that God gives us all these things. You know, boys and girls, we have lots of wonderful blessings, but the greatest blessing is Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, our Savior, came and did what we couldn't do. He kept God's law perfectly. All the Ten Commandments, he kept them perfectly for you, me, and the whole world. And then he died on the cross as the perfect sacrifice for sin so that we could have those ultimate blessings of forgiveness of our sins, eternal life with God in heaven, and being saved then from death and from the devil. God has blessed us with so many gifts we can't even begin to count them all. But nonetheless, Whenever we do count our blessings, we can say, thank you, God, because he has given us everything that we need. Not only all that we need to support this body and life, but he's given us his Savior, who in love died and rose for us so that we could spend eternity. That's forever with God. Through Jesus, we have the forgiveness of all of our sins, eternal life with God in heaven, and then salvation from our enemy, the devil. You know, when it comes down to it, we really can't count all the blessings that God has given us, those good words that we hear from him about Jesus, those gifts that we receive from him. So we can say, thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful blessings that we have from you, that we get in your word, that we get in baptism and in the sacrament of Holy Communion. God has indeed blessed us beyond counting, beyond measure. And so each and every day, boys and girls, we have the opportunity the joyful opportunity to say thanks be to God for all he's done for us in Jesus, our Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.